Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button. I know you're going to love my channel. I have hundreds of videos of all different makes and models. So please sub subscribe. Come back every day because I have non-stop information on cars. So here I am at East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And they are allowing me to show you this 2015 Honda Fit EX. Now this is a really, really fun little car. It gets great gas mileage, it's zippy, and just overall, it's roomy too. I mean, it's, it's a really neat neat vehicle. So the back seat is kind of cool too, because it has different, different ways you can position it for extra cargo capacity. All right, so let's check it out. It has a 16 inch alloy wheels. I think it has a pretty sporty look to them. And it has the disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back. And you can see the doors are pretty good size. So, I mean, it, getting in and out of the vehicle is not that hard. It's easy to get in and out of it. So don't let the, the size fool you on this car. This It's a roomy, well-designed, smaller, uh, smaller vehicle. So here in the front, we have the reflector halogen headlights and fog lights. with the daytime running lights. And that front end really stands out to me. It really gets my attention when I look at it. And I like this little glass here so you can see out of the sides. Speaking of seeing out of the sides, I'll show you what this camera does. There's a camera right there. Okay, so this vehicle has a proximity key and let me show you what the key looks like it just looks like a little plastic box and um, you can see it does have lock and unlock and open up the trunk and everything on it but you don't actually have to take this out of your pocket you can just leave it in your pocket and you walk up to the door and you put your hand behind the handle it automatically unlocks if you need to relock it you just push this button and it also has push button start so basically it's designed to not ever have to take the key out of your pocket or your purse so let's take a look at this side. There's the inside of the passenger door. And most everything's black. It does have some soft to the touch um, stuff going on here. And they also have some metal metallic accents with some black accents there as well. Most everything's hard plastic though. And then you have the cup holder there. And you have the black cloth seats manually adjusted. Very comfortable seats by the way. The seating position is quite a bit off the floor, so the floor is, um, you know, so your knees aren't up in the air or anything like that. And here's your glove compartment, which is a pretty decent size. And look at the leg room, pretty, pretty significant, as we'll see when we get on the inside. Okay, so let's take a look at the back. It's beeping at me, letting me know that the key's not in there. So here is the back door, same styling as the front as you can see. Now the back seats, like I said, there's pretty interesting. Uh, you do have plenty of leg room and it is significantly off the floor so your knees aren't in the air in the back as well. So one of the cool things um, I think is cool is that this seat lifts up and you can uh, latch this in place like so. So now you have both seats do that. So you can have some really significant cargo capacity right here behind the seats without interfering with the actual cargo capacity in the back. I think that's awesome. So you lift that up, it unlatches, and it snaps back in place down there. Also, if you wanted to, double your storage capacity there in the back, you can lower that down and it actually goes pretty much flat. And it's a 60-40 split, so you have the comp capacity of, uh, yeah, the, the ability to have a, a, a mix between passenger and cargo space. All right, so let's take a look here in the trunk, or in the back, the hatch, the boots, whatever you want to call it. There's the back of the vehicle. You do have a backup camera. The lens is right there, which I'll show you when you get on the inside. Right underneath the Honda symbol is the button. 
You just push the button, it lifts up. And there's your cargo area. And it does have a cargo mat that catches all the sand or dirt or whatever you happen to put back here. And you can see the seat with the seat folder down, you have a significant amount of cargo space. This mat comes out real easy. It's very light, easily cleaned. You can hose it out. You can put your beach towels there. Um, you can put your plants or whatever you want to put there and it protects the vehicle. Everything gets um, stuck in this tray and it has a pretty significant lip around the edge to catch anything. Now, this one does have a spare tire. And the spare tire is under there. And the reason why I mention that is because some new vehicles are offered without a spare tire. So you definitely want to make sure you're aware of whether you have a spare tire in your vehicle or not. Do not want to find that out on the weekend out of town on some kind of long distance trip or something that you don't have a spare tire. You want to know that up front. Okay, so here is the fuel door. So let's go ahead and open that up. Using this right here. And the fuel door opens up there and it is lockable as you saw and once you open up the fuel cap you could actually hang it right here on this little hanger that's what that's for and that way when I mean, it does have this little plastic string here and you could hang it down there but then it will just scratch up your paint and stuff like that so they give you this little hanger there all right so let's take a look under the hood check out the 1.5 liter four cylinder with 130 horsepower Hundred and thirty horsepower doesn't seem like much, but when you get actually start driving it, it is pretty peppy. It's not like a drag racing car though. But um and you can actually see some engine, that's awesome. Still has some pollen on it. We had pollen season not too long ago, so you can excuse that. But anyway. The 1.5 liter doesn't have the Earth Greens technology, IV Tech. And you know, I'll leave a link in the description explaining more about the Earth, Green, Earth Greens technology. But it is a really cool little engine. And doesn't use very much gas either. Okay, so let's take a look on the inside. Alright, here it is on the inside. And I got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, and I noticed that the, it is not a very wide vehicle, but they just lowered down the center console to where it doesn't interfere with your knee. So, I mean, if it had like some tall center console, then it might, um, you know, interfere with you. So that really helps out with the, with the knee room to me. So let's go ahead and start here on the driver's door. You do have the power windows and then you have automatic power window for the driver's door. Power door locks are there. You can lock out all the windows if you wanted to to keep them from being rolled up and down. Your side mirrors are controlled here. You just pick a side and then you can adjust it with this pad. And then right here is your eco mode. That will tell the vehicle that you want the absolute best gas mileage. And um, you know, you're gonna, it's not gonna be the fastest vehicle in the world while you're driving it with an eco mode, but you will get your best gas mileage. And that's pretty much the main kind of the main point of this vehicle is to save gas and you know have a reliable transportation so right here is your traction control button and that is always on traction control is always on unless you push that button which will turn it off and the only time you really want to turn it off is when you're like um, spinning t you need to spin tires like say if you're stuck in the sand or mud or snow something like that then you know you might need to spin tires to break yourself free right above that is this neat little cup holder and it expands out you put a cup right there awesome I like that don't normally see a cup holder in that position but that's a really cool neat thing because you can when you're getting in the vehicle it's right there to where you can put your your coffee or whatever there um, before you even get in the car unlike the cup holders that are in the center uh, you have to actually get in the car and, or reach past around to put it in there so that's a pretty pretty neat feature to me Okay, so here's the steering wheel, and it is a, uh, I guess like a synthetic, feels kind of like leather, leather textured synthetic steering wheel. 
and it's pretty comfortable actually it's grippy and um, you know since it's synthetic it's gonna last forever it's a really strong quality feeling and it has good thickness too so it doesn't really dig into your hand so here on the right hand side of the steering wheel we have the cruise control you just turn it on with that button set it with this button change through your speeds here and here and then you can cancel it there on the left side you have your volume for your radio you change to the stations uh, you can change your different source like say AM FM satellite radio and this button you can push that button to cycle through uh, different things on your radio basically you have your radio or your phone so you can choose which one you want like so and then once you just stop pushing it it'll go to the selected uh, range and then this is for different menu systems in that screen okay so down here is your Bluetooth controls and these are very good safety features once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system you can answer calls here hang up on calls here and make calls with this third button now this first one here once you know once your Bluetooth phones paired you're driving along your radio is blasting you're just cruising along all of a sudden the radio will dim out will get lower and even your fan speed if the fan is blowing real loud it'll dim that as well and it'll start you'll hear ringing noises through the sound system you just push that button this first button here you pull it in and it will answer the call and then you start talking to the person you have a conversation when you're done you can hang up here so that's how you know how convenient it is to keep your eyes on the road hands on the wheel and stay productive now the voice recognition button not only can you say certain numbers you can say people in your phone book but you can also say tune to a certain station so there's lots of different voice commands that you can say to keep your hands on the wheel eyes on the road and you are being productive with your radio and also with your phone making calls so really good safety feature I highly recommend using the voice recognition and Bluetooth system that is a very good safety feature in my book so here's your window windshield wiper controls there on this side is your headlight controls it does have an automatic setting and your fog lights are controlled with this button here all right here's your gauges you do have some blue accents which looks pretty awesome to me and your RPMs there to the left your big speedometer in the middle and then there to the right you have a real-time uh, miles per gallon there on the top this part right here it'll just show you what you're getting exactly while you're driving so whatever you're driving so that way you can keep an eye on the way you drive if you're really dogging it all the time it's going to use more gas and it's going to kind of let you know by looking at that gauge down here is your gas gauge you can see it's very low on gas um, but that's your gas gauge and then there in the center you have your trips and your uh, odometer now it does have this little button up here so you can cycle through this and get more information you got two miles range just enough to get to the gas mile, gas station average miles per gallon um, average miles a gallon with your trip B oil life and then it cycles back there then you have that clock at the top all right so let's move on over here and this is a pretty neat little touch screen lots of ways to play music through the sound system by the way there's your four-way flash four-way flashes before I forget but here's your CD player there at the top uh, let me hit the home button so we can go to um, well let's start here with the phone and once you pair your phone with the system then you can have your your phone calls uh, will be right there speed dial and call history will show up right now it's kind of blacked out because there's no phone paired all right so let's go to info this is where you find you know you have a actual place to put a picture there so you can have a background picture with your clock there in the center now East Coast Honda has their picture in there for you and uh, audio is pretty neat here's your radio but then when you hit source there's lots of different ways to play music AM FM CD uh, USB ports you can hook it up iPod Pandora aha which are uh, internet radios that play through your cell phone your cell phone itself and then your uh, Bluetooth, any kind of Bluetooth device, also an HDMI input. So really a lot of features, a lot of ways to play music through the sound system. Then you have the volume control there. You have a back button. You notice these buttons will, will illuminate when they're relevant. When they're not relevant, they will kind of go away. All right, 
So let's look down here. There's your start button. Nice red candy-like button. And to start the vehicle, you just get in, put your foot on the brake, push the start button. It starts right up. To turn it off, you push the button again. So right here is your climate control. Really basic and simple. Big dial for your temperature, your fan speed, where you want the air to blow, whether you want to recirculate it or not. There's your rear defroster. And, you know, real basic and simple. I like that kind of stuff. So you do have down here a power outlet, 12 volt. Here's your HDMI port. And there's a USB port. There's another one I'll show you in a minute. And you do have some storage space down in here with some cup holders. Okay, so here's your shifter. And it is a CVT transmission, continuously variable transmission. But, um, you know, it still has gear ratios. So you can change through them using paddle shifters here on the steering wheel. That plus and minus. So let's go ahead and just put it in reverse right now so you can see the backup camera. So it pops up and you can see it has those yellow grid lines there and they will move as you turn the steering wheel, which I'm doing now. They will move and give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle. But also since it's a wide angle lens back there, it distorts the corners. It gives you more visibility, but you have some distortion there. And one of the, right here on the edge of the, the vehicle is distorted as well. You see it, this dotted line, that's the closest you want to get to anything behind you. Literally between here and there is only a few inches. It looks like a few feet, but you notice the shadow is just, the, 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 the shadow goes way out there. It's really not that far. Um, so, so basically they put these grid lines to show you how wide the vehicle is, but also to help you with the distance because of the, the distortion. So definitely don't want to go any closer than those dotted lines right there um, because you'd be rapidly getting closer and actually hit something because you, you know, the, uh, the distance looks much greater than what it is there. Alright, so let's continue on with the shifter down to neutral. Then you have drive. Then you have sport mode. And once you're in sport mode, you're telling the vehicle that you want the highest performance this vehicle is capable of having. Uh, you're not really concerned with gas mileage now. But um, you can drive it in sport mode and it'll automatically cycle through the gear ratios. But if you wanted to, all you have to do is just start pushing the paddle shifters and it will go into sport mode. So once you push that, it'll change this readout from drive, drive to sport, and then you push the paddle shifter. Now all of a sudden you have a gear. It's showing you, hey, you're in first gear, and then you can cycle through the paddle shifters and you want to keep it on your RPM so you don't redline, but you can actually cycle through the gears just like a manual transmission in a way. Um, so pretty neat. Anytime you want to go back into the normal drive position, you just bump it right back up in the drive and, you're, and it takes over for you as far as changing gears. All right, so over here is your emergency brake. Place little pockets, put stuff. There's your center armrest. It is a... Um, uh, cloth center arm, arm, center armrest and this has a little catch right here that opens up and this is where you can put some stuff also you find your um, 12 volt power supply and there's your other USB port you can charge stuff also you see that little groove there on the edge that allows wires to go in and out of the pocket without actually smashing them when you close the close this down all right, the rear view mirror has a little flippy thing for day and night mode, just like uh, just about every other car in the world. And you have these tap lights here for quick reading lights or whatever. And if you wanted to have the interior lights turn on with the door, when the door opens, like right now I can open the door, the lights turn on. Um, I can turn that feature off. You just turn it off, and that way if I open up the door, the lights do not turn on. And here's a microphone for your Bluetooth system. Now here, this is the button is for your sunroof. So let's check that out. So here's the sunroof and it has this shade that opens and closes. And I'm gonna go ahead and vent the sunroof so you can see how far it goes open. Go ahead and close it before you can open it up all the way. Close it. And 
today's a hot day so I just don't want the sun on me I can close that just like that and the visors have mirrors in them on both sides okay so let's take a look at the visibility out of the back All right, there you have it, 2015 Honda Fit. Really awesome little car. If you have experience with one of these cars, please leave it in the comments. Have any clarifications, anything to say at all, please leave it in the comments. And I uh, appreciate you watching, and thank you to East Coast Honda for allowing me to show you off this car to you. Now, East Coast Honda, I have a friend named John here, and he can literally deliver this car to you anywhere in the United States. So if you're interested in a Honda, I'll leave his contact information in the description, and he can definitely hook you up. Alright, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.